kids, my name is Ari. Welcome to my vlog for the day. Ooh, the shirt is kind of wrinkly. I don't know if y'all can see. But I don't, I don't iron things. Have you ever had a friend, sister, brother, cousin, Bay, point out to you a character flaw? If not, question who's around you. And when they point it out, you feel a type of way. Okay, thank you. Why are you paying so much attention to me? Live your life. Then you get petty and you point out one of their character flaws, you know. You're just rude to people. How about that? One flaw that keeps rearing its ugly head is the fact that I cut people off. It's just a thing that I do. I don't know where it came from. I just do it. And it's not like I'm not listening to you. It's just that I clearly don't have the patience for you to finish your thoughts. So now that friend, sister, brother, cousin Bay has pointed out this character flaw in my life, I see it everywhere. And when I see new people react to my cutting offedness, okay, it's painful. Cause I'm like, oh dang. They probably think I am not listening to them, but I am, hence why I cut you off. Cause I was so excited to tell you what I thought of, but then was I not listening because I was thinking uh, now you have to make a conscious effort to try to not do whatever that flaw is. I am in a rehabilitative mindset, so I am making an effort to not do it. So I've gotten into the habit of apologizing when I cut people off, although it seems to do more harm than good because after you cut them off and apologize, you've now tainted them. You've brought awareness to the flaw that you have, you feel what I'm saying? So, if you've ever spoken to me, if we've ever had conversations, don't take it personally that I cut you off. This is my step to acknowledging that I do this to almost everyone I encounter. If you have any character flaws that friend, sister, brother, cousin Bay has pointed out to you, share them. I would like to know actually that I am not alone in this world. <laughs> Let's have a conversation. Anyway, see you later. Bye. This. My mother would be ashamed of me if we went out in public. Like, I, I just don't, maybe I should get a steamer. I just, I just don't do this in my life. You know, unless it's like a wedding or a funeral or an award show. I haven't been to those, so, oh well.